Well, right now, this is just a temporary move, and it's just impacting one school because they did see a large number of COVID cases within that school in terms of the measurements that they're making, and more on that in just a moment. But first, a little bit of context for perspective. You probably remember when the Washington Department of Health changed its guidance, updating masking rules and masking guidance for schools across the state of Washington. That was, again, more than a month ago. And what they said was that masking could be used as an option with other measures to stop the spread in schools. But what would be required for people who return to school before 10 days are up after testing positive? So most districts have been mask optional since that change. Seattle Public Schools, for example, saying masks are strongly encouraged, but ultimately it's up to each family. Renton Schools, same kind of thing, also made them optional. It's changing that temporarily for Dimmitt Middle School, which has 645 students. It says of that number plus staff, 38 students and staff members total tested positive for coronavirus. Now, no other schools are impacted at this point in time, and it will let families know when masks are optional again. And meanwhile, Bremerton High School is going to remote learning tomorrow and Friday. As of right now, that's just temporary, and they're going to reevaluate over the weekend. They say that's because of staffing. No word yet on whether COVID played any impact in that, though I did reach out for more information. For now, we're live in Renton. Erica Zuko, King 5 News.